fula. Yazan. Yazan the thing. But I thought the rain was supposed to continue into the afternoon. Unless you know, it's going to You know come what back. I'm thinking now? What are you thinking? The heat that will come after this rain. Very true. Ghanaians will regret. They will Very beg true. God. Very true. But he will be on holiday. Oh, he can't be on holiday. He has to be on... <laughs> hey, if he leaves us there, Charlie, you think we can make it? Ah, you can't Charlie, abandon us. We the heat. Him. The heat. That will come. But is this the start officially of the rainy season? So, you know, there's... Um, I explained to you the other time in Ghana. Uh-huh. Right? There's Aharabata. <laughs> January. Uh-huh. That is Hamatan. Okay. You see, it rhymes. Uh-huh. Harabata. Uh-huh. Yes. Habatan. Mm-hmm. Then February is of Oflon. Mm-hmm. That's where you see the flowers blossoming. Okay. And then you see Ochokrikri. Ochokrikri. Where the sun is hot. Mm-hmm. And then you see a baby. A baby. Yeah. So you've seen those lights. Yes. That's Great. <laughs> so we are in a baby. Uh-huh. And those, the rain needs to come so a bear can come. Okay. And then, because we are prepared to flow, and the flowers had blossomed, when the insects come, they'll get nectar uh-huh. to suck. Makes sense. You see the maker? Yes. Very intelligent. The grand architect of the universe. Amazing stuff. Yeah. Mm. Harabata. Mm-hmm. Uflo. Ochokrikri. Ochokrikri. A baby. A baby. Yes. Oba fili obun siem. But what food do you want to eat today? Um, it's a rainy one. It's still mm. the weather is still quite cool before mm. the heat attacks. Janet is happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that has a bit of um weight to it, mm. a bit of spice to mm. it as well. You know, it's the start of the week. You have to be energetic because mm. me, I want to. I, I need to be prepared when that SML GRE report drops. You know, the presidency they had it. They didn't want to tell us yes. that it had come. Atika, atika, katipo. Eh, katipo. So I want to be prepared. <laughs> Well prepared when we finally get the reports of it because I don't know why it's taking us so long. What, what, what happened to your keto diet plan? Uh, next week we go again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Now we we get into a conversation where uh, forgive my voice please guys. Um, I, I don't know what's happening to it but uh, here we are. We 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 are here. Um, do you honestly believe that the presidency will release the SML report? They will. You will? I, I, I believe, believe they will because of the mounting we pressures. We wrote from here mm. to the presidency That's after right. they wrote to Al Jazeera on the gold mafia thing. They have still not brought the report. That's right. <laughs> why, why do you think they will? I think that there's, there's been more, you know, that Al Jazeera um, particular incidents, it did get some traction. And then as we typically do, we moved on quite quickly. There's something in particular about this SML GRA saga that has <laughs> kept the topic going. I don't know whether it's also because of Reverend uh, Dr. Amish Adai in the GRA. Amish Adai. And all the uh, instances that were surrounding him. But that conversation is still going but on. But how do you... Take out a 63 year old and bring in a 61 year old. Mm. Akufado needs to get serious with us, yeah. really. Yeah. Yeah. Akufado, um, I, I don't know, but the things he said in opposition, what he's doing in power, they're completely at variance. That's right. It, it, it doesn't, I don't know how to describe it. And sometimes when I speak, they say, oh, senior citizens, they the comments, oh, yeah, he's the president. Say, yes, he's the president. But this is what he said in the past. Mm-hmm. And this is what he is doing now. Can we not compare the two and ask questions? We must. Is that not what we do in research? We have to. And if I'm a lecturer, I can't do research again. I have no, um, what do you call it, academic freedom. I have, I'm a journalist, really. Mm. <sighs> I'm just playing all the right songs today. <laughs> Because only one caller took exception yeah. to you calling out the president's aid. He says, I support everything that you've got going on. But he says, likening the president's uh, current I disposition up, I grew up with, with his an, age is you know, I mean, taking it to a different... Opinion. Of course. But Absolutely. I grew up with an old man, mm-hmm. an old woman. Mm-hmm. 
but my father died at 72 going on to 73. Mm. I still have aunties and uncles who are of that age. That's right. So as I sit here, as young as I am, I have grandchildren, mm. literally. The kind of grandparents I saw will be ones who will share their food with you. That's right. Ask you if you have eaten. Your welfare is paramount to them than theirs. They will take care of you before theirs. Our president now is not taking care of us. Mm. And he wants us to believe and still say he's taking care of us. He says a new leader will come and make things better. How does a grandfather say that? Grampy, 80 years. Mm. How do you say that? I've always said that President Kufado is the only one who became president after he had turned 70. That's right. At 70, he had fulfilled scripture, three score and 10 mm. in the Bible. And if your days may be longer, you'll be 80, which he has achieved. That's right. How does he look down on the young people of this country who are going to school without textbooks? People who are unable to feed, people who are hung hungry and angry at once. How does he sleep? And he still has a chair in a V8. Still? Carried by two people, yes. You can't say this is a good grandpa. He's not. My grandfather, Papa Charlie, or Casadoa, when they, they are eating and you are close by, they give you the best part of the meat. Mm, not the smallest. A lie. Yes. They, they take some, mm. unless you didn't grow up with your grandparents, but they will take some and give you and say, oh, hey, when you get... In fact, the way to make sure that the young ones are okay, fully fed, before they, eat. before they come and eat. This is our grandfather. He's eating before we all eat. And when he's eating, he's eating the best part and wasting the rest of the food. He says he's belching in our face. Yes. Oh. Were we not in this country when Sewa Bruni came? And I've decided not to talk about Sewa Bruni. Like I've decided not to talk about Sewa me here. But state resources were used in the case of Sewa Bruni. Mm. Sewa Bruni is a citizen of another country, was giving close access to our president. What if she was an agent trying to collect information? Mm. What state information could she have collected and transmitted to the Canadian government to the extent of taking photos and sharing them and even have a having a whole hour on Facebook saying whatever she wanted to say. But we swept it under the carpet. Mm. This is a man who is past 70. So we expect that he had seen everything. Because if you look at how old was Nkrumah when he became president? Dr. Buzia, mm. how old? Liman, Akufado's own father, John Mahama, Atamils, Rawlings, how old were they? None of them was 60. That's it is right. only Akufuado who was 50, 72 when he became president. What are we saying? It's, it's the fact. What are we saying? 72 became president. Mm. In his eighth year, he's 80. What do you have to show? See the new Senegalese uh, president and young the vice man. young, 40s, yes. vibrant. Yes. We should be going down that route. We won't go down that lane. You know why? The old people like Katie Hamon still think that we have nothing in our heads. We need to give young he people He thinks that a we try. are coconut heads. He said that. He said you have a full beard, nothing yes. in your head. He's thinking like that, but he never starts a statement and finishes it. Katie Hamon. Have you heard him speak before? Johnny, what do you mean by that? He never starts a statement and finishes it. Oh. So he starts out like, okay, Helen, and then you know Helen, uh, Helen is a beautiful, blah, 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 but uh, you're Jane. He never finishes a statement. He said he was going to beat his opponent mercilessly at the polls. Yes. What happened? He said he was going to beat it, him it, at the polls and beat him physically. It is the same reason Kwesi Nyantichi wants to become an MP. It tells you how low we have sunk. Mm. 
and you have people defending scholarships to a high and mighty politically exposed people what is your concept of scholarship it's for people who can't afford it so a deputy director of a state institution who gets scholarship who even buys a football team like gift your worry why is she getting scholarship why a phd holder like dr matthew puku prempe why does he get scholarship a member of parliament and a minister ajwa safu why do they get scholarship mm. then they say oh we we, <coughs> we give you a tall list why are you picking on only the politically exposed because they are not supposed to be there in the first place shame the things you criticize in opposition you are doing even worse with the benefit of power and you want people to shut up and you say oh breach positive news what is a positive news scholarship for the young for the helpless the powerless you are taking that and you say we should give you products for it you're a joker there are things that i i sit here i can't say mm. because some of the words that are in my heart Jenny, cool down for if us the gun man in me comes out we will feel it it's a lot on your heart this morning johnny but it's not fair there was a boy who came from um one of the secondary schools he had sit down he had 10 A's. One of the boys, one of our security people, right? His son had 10 A's. He wants to go to medical school. They have no money. Between him and Gift Your Worry, who should be getting scholarship? This gentleman with the 10 A's. No what are money. you talking to me about? Mm. Gift Your Worry, and people have forgotten. In 2017, she took salaries from places where she was not supposed to take the salaries. She was quoted in the Auditor General's report. They said, well, we refunded the money. I said, you are shameless. You are shameless. You are very, very shameless. In the same year when she was getting salary, she was buying Berry's Ladies Football Club from Halifax. You can have money to buy a football club. You don't have money to fund your education. You are shameless. Mm. But you cannot shame the shameless. Mm. There's a boy here. His father is a security man. Yeah. He has 10 A's from Ebenezer Secondary School. He wants to go to medical school. He can't pay. The father came to me. I said, if I had money, I would have given you the money. Mm. 10 A's without blemish. He is not getting scholarship. Then you find a deputy director, you find a minister, you find an MP who is going to get as gracia, getting money paid every month. Or well, you find the awards. Are you kidding me? Mm. How do you explain it? And these were things that Nanado Dankwe Kufado criticized in opposition. That's right. Along with the same people. So why are you doing worse? Said your mama is a devil. He doesn't know. He didn't. In fact, it's already called your mama a joker. Scholarship. It's called him a joker. Who is the joke on today? Who is the joke on? You tell me who is the joke on? Who? And when you say it, they say you should not say it because it's partisan. What is partisan about somebody who has eight A's? And some of them, they never got A's in their life. When you check their CGPA, mm, my last CGPA was 3.8333. Some of them, the scholarship, when you check their results and you check why they got the scholarship, you know that they got the scholarship not on merit. But because they were connected. Apostle mm. Aminiampong's daughter, a lawyer, is getting scholarship to go and do internship outside. 
named after the Opoku Nunes. Opoku Nunes wants to be vice president. Also, I've heard. Where is the principal? The principal is at the National Cathedral. You break houses, you waste money to build something for God. That is your personal pledge that nobody has asked for. What's the latest? National Cathedral. Yeah. It cannot be built. <laughs> it cannot be built. What do we do? It's a waste of our money by somebody who said I will protect the public purse. In the last three years, have you heard the president speak about corruption? The last sonar. He cannot speak about corruption. Vaguely, he mentioned Because it. he himself has been encumbered by corruption. Martin Amidu in his corruption risk assessment of the Japadio called him the mother serpent of all corruption. That's right. Eugenian said, we have an election to win. When we finish, I will respond. Has Eugenian responded? Eugenian wants to go to parliament. Jefferson Saki wants to go to parliament. Everybody around him wants to go to parliament. You know why? Why? They have no confidence that they will sustain and retain power. Why did Abu Jinapo run to parliament? Mm. Why did Asenso Bashi run to parliament? Name them. When you say, they say you should not say. Me, I will say it. You can't do Foucault. Johnny, it's early. It's not early. It's 8.39. It's not early. Some of the things, they are very, very disheartening. And you have to say it the way it is. If a scholarship had been given to... Look, people are in Ukraine, Russia, Germany, Switzerland. They are waiting for two, $250. Dollars the ones we spoke to. Just to eat and feed and learn. You aren't giving them. You are giving money to people who are ex politically exposed, influential, and they have money to even acquire properties. Which properties we know that you're talking to me about. Mm. I shall protect the public purse. In whose interest? God, when you the chairman, is the general, uh, is the leader of the NDC's legal team, is here. Also, good morning. How are you? Good morning. Forgive Good morning. my voice. My voice I is gone. I that this morning you were super high. My, my voice is legal gone. Direct rate. My voice is uh, gone. The legal direct rate, we want to thank you so much mm. for the excellent work you are doing for Mother Ghana. You know, in um, ancient Greece, Socrates used to hold officialdom to account. He's the type that arguably you call a gut fly. Mm. Consistently, it gives the horse one or two stings mm. to get its body back on track. This democracy is one that is creating despondency. And the danger is that if all voices of reason do not rise up and speak. We risk killing this democracy. And for some of us, we are extremely worried. I've always given the example of what happened in Sri Lanka. Hmm. When the president... Uh, the, the kitchen and dining hall example. When the president thought that he could do whatever he could, you know, he thought that oh, he had manipulated every institution. And so, as for him, he is above anything. One morning, young men and women of Sri Lanka could no longer bear. You see, you are incompetent and manipulative at the same time. You at least make things better for the people and do whatever and you want. And manipulate them. And manipulate them. That one too, you can't do. The thing is not happening. The thing is not happening. Meanwhile, you are manipulating every governance institution. The people who hold you accountable, you are manipulating them. And so you have a situation where the president feels that he's actually nana in the true sense of the word. Hmm. A village chief. Is our is is presidency 
it's supposed to be that. That's kind. not how it's supposed to be. But what, so why so are we, why that, we turned it into no, that? But so the fact that you are Nana, you must appreciate that this Nana is a democratic institution. Checks and balances. Mm. Right? Look, this morning, hearing you, I could see the pain, the frustration. Step out here and ask people on the streets how they are making it and why they are still moving. Condemn. Eduji, people come to me every day asking Look, if, for if money. Look, if I show you my phone, school fees, the messages. <laughs> Look, Look, hospital bills. The last time when Helen. The, secondary schools, oh. the secondary schools reopened, the prospectus that was given to parents, how to put it together was a headache for many parents. People are going through hell. And the president who has occasioned this is out there boastfully telling us that I will install my vice president at, you know, to take over from me. You can't do anything. And that that is the last thing that he wants to do. You have the likes of Brana Champon talking recklessly. The other day, I had word for him. I said, ah, in this country, Johnny, do you have a hotel? Mommy, do you have a hotel? He runs a hotel. If there is no peace in Ghana, who will go to Rock City? If there is no peace in Ghana, which tourists will go and do paragliding during Easter so they can use your facility? Sebio, I can for you. Say, Sebio, Sebio, we are bad dream bar and say, me or you can. People are not thinking. So they think they can gaslight us. And that is why, Johnny, me, I've always said, and I mean no word, even for the MPP to think that Bamia is the person they will put out as flag bearer, it's a test of our national sanity. It's a test of our national sanity. Because it's like some people believe that ah, Sebi Ghana for cry, Sebi O. BBI, the BBI, the BBI, the BBI. Because if you have respect for the ordinary Ghanaian, you won't even put Bamia as a candidate. But that's why. Listen to me carefully. Listen to me carefully. This man, his boss told us that he read economics in the 60s. Right. But never made a career out of it. He went into law. And that he was going to rely on the superior understanding of Baumia relative to the economy. Today, the Ghana city had moved from 3.84 Ghana cities to 13.75. And you see, like Baumia said in opposition, when in doubt, observe the exchange rate. It affects the cascading impact. Mm -hmm. Today, as mm -hmm. we speak, mm -hmm. how much are you buying a gallon of petrol today? Almost Way getting to 70 Ghana cities. Mm. Is, is it real? So? Look, hmm. and, and look, listen to this analysis carefully. In 2016, right, the full gallon made up of 4.5 liters, the full gallon was selling for 14 cities. Wrong. 14 Ghana cities. Joe says you are wrong. How much was it? 16. Okay. Sorry, 18.6. Joe, use the mic for me. Joe, you see, is the National Communications Director of, of NADMO is uh, here on the ticket of, of the NPP. So, so it was 18 point what? Yes, 6. Okay, 18. you even for the sake of argument. You, can you tell the microphone down so you can? So let's hear you. Even for the sake of argument. Mm -hmm. That as at the, uh, the, the 5th of January, Six, yes. a gallon of petrol was 18 Ghana cities. You let's take that for the argument. Today, it is 70 Ghana cities. From 18 to 70. Hmm. And, and listen to me carefully. Mm -hmm. The entire gallon was 18 Ghana cities, comprising 4.5 liters. liters. Mm -hmm. Miss Ampofo, today as we speak, just one liter, the beer bottle, hmm, that one liter is 14.75 Ghana cities. It went up twice this last week. That's right. 
14.75. And nearly passed. Almost the value for the entire gallon as of 2016. Your point is? The point is, government's inability to properly manage the exchange rates had impacted on the price of crude. And the imposition of taxes and levies on petroleum products. I see. This was not your campaign promise. Mm -hmm. I recall vividly, Anado Danko Kufado on the campaign platform, and you usually use this account words, Ghana Yaya Mobo Dodo, Ghana Yaya Mobo Kura Dodo, Na Ghana Yo Yamai, Yetisikaso, and Yebre, Na Amamu Boninti, and Yebre, Na John Muhammad Mamu Tino, a comedy. Those were his words. Sikana and Yer Tesono, I could say. I could say. And, and you see, Johnny, the painful part is that the people who had imposed this unprecedented hardship on the good people of this country, mm -hmm. you'd expect a certain level of humility. You would expect that they would demonstrate, in fact, they would appear before Ghanaians in sackcloth and ashes. It's not ash Wednesday yet. <laughs> we, are not, we are rather, not in time, But rather, <laughs> they are arrogantly telling us that they have done better. How can you live under... Look, and, and Johnny, I... I, I so I can yes, bring yes, yes, yes. Mm. Look, Johnny, these numbers remain undisputed. The Ghana Statistical Service conducted the Living Standards Survey mm. and released their report February this year. It puts unemployment at 14.7%. Quarter three. 14.7%. For last year. Yes, Q3. But, but that's not good. Please, as at 20... Case. You calm down. As at 2016, <laughs> when they were talking about a better alternative, mm. the unemployment rate was 8.4. So what happened? So what happened? You tell me. What do you know? Mismanagement. Corruption no. and wastage. No. You see, no. I, and I'll give you a classic example. I. Mismanagement I, I come to you, and wastage. <laughs> Look, the report shows that youth unemployment moved from 21% as at 2016 to 32% as of 2023. Youth unemployment. Today, if you run a business and you need money to run this business and you need to go to a bank, you are doing a lending rate of 40% averagely. How can you survive as a businessman? Treasury bill rates used to be 22%. Now we are doing 33% averagely it's come down to 28 look at this when you had promised a better economy okay and the most challenging part of it all your final that, point mm. you'd expect that our friends would acknowledge your usual word their scorecard the scorecard mm. <laughs> but they will not so today as we speak our economy is a bankrupt economy. Mm. Mm. Our economy is yet mean to your default economy. That we have turned the corner. Our economy mm. is now a haircut economy. You remember the president when he lied mm. to Ghana mm. that there shall be no haircut. Those were his words. What happened? Today we are dealing with a debt riddle economy overtaxed economy, high inflationary economy, high monetary policy economy, high lending rate economy, high unemployment economy, extremely high youth unemployment economy, misery and hotel economy. We have collapsed state-owned agencies. The cocoa sector has collapsed and massive uncontrolled corruption economy. So if you put all of this together, mm. the person who has led the economy into the ditch is telling us that he is just a driver's mate. Mm. The 1992 com 
institution. Hmm? Never envisage the vice president to be a driver's mate. Okay. The constitution envisages mm. that the vice president will be a spare driver. I hear you. With the same competencies mm. like the president. I hear you. And that is why in Ghana, mm -hmm. if the president is removed, either by death, impeachment, <laughs> you don't run election for the vice. He you takes just over. take over from him. Exactly. Thank you. Edujita Makro. Ghana. It is a castle. A man, you hear my Nenam a memoir and quietino. A comedy. I am a boat or Ghana. It is a castle. A man, you hear my Nenam a memoir and quietino. A comedy. Three FM Sunrise. Think about. Despite assurances by President Kufuado that there would be no haircut on investments, Deputy Minister for Finance John Kuma says that it's only true for local investments. He told three business after the 2023 budget presentation that government has started engaging international creditors. We are expecting to bring down government's obligation on our debt borrowing and interest payment. And we strongly believe that the domestic uh, investors in Ghana as we have it today. His Excellency the President has already announced that there is not going to be any haircut on their principal, which we have stated. Of course, there will be external engagement that will do haircut for our bond holders. But the domestic one, we are not going to do haircut or, uh, or touch their principal. Can you these engagements with other groups? I also want to assure all Ghanaians that no individual or institutional investor, including pension funds, in government treasury bills or instruments, will lose their money as a result of our ongoing IMF negotiations. There will be no haircuts. So I urge all of you to ignore the false rumors, just as in the banking sector cleanup government ensured that the 4.6 million depositors affected by the exercise did not lose their deposits. 3FM Sunrise. See you leaving for day. Think about the future children. There will be no haircuts and there were haircuts. Think George AC is the director of uh, communications at the NADMO. George Welcome. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I, I, I see your protests, and, and when Edu <laughs> was speaking, you disagreed. I disagree with, with you. Uh, we, we started on, on, on a note of the um, scholarships. Yes. Why are people giving scholarships to people who can pay their ah, school fees? Did you talk about scholarships? Yes, oh, okay. when you stepped up. Okay, yeah. Why are you giving your, scholarships? Your sister station was interviewing me. To, that's to people, oh, yeah. that's to people right, who yeah. can pay their school fees. Why? Yeah, John Hughes, good morning to you. Good morning to my colleague, Council, mm. and our uh, dear sister. Uh, good morning to our listeners and viewers. Uh, yes, the scholarship, John Hughes. When was Sajifu uh, in the 1960s established the scholarship secretariat? Mm. For reasons. Which reason, one, is to support brilliant but needy students, one. Mm. And two, to train people for specialized expertise. Mm. Okay, so then we're coming to build our economy. So we needed engineers, we needed architects and all those things. So it's a scheme pulled down to support those specialized skills, mm. okay, home mm. and abroad. Okay, at that time we didn't have the structures home, so we needed to go abroad. So people, it's not completely true that scholarships are for needy people alone. No, okay. We have the needy bond, which, which can be over 70% or more, uh, but we have specialized skills acquisition. How do you convince me that, well. that so, Freddie Blaze's daughter cannot pay as goofies? No, what, what was she going to train in? We need mm. to look at that. Because I remember once, for instance, the University of Ghana, they say in the archaeology department and, and co., uh, because there's the possibility of extension of the department, okay? Let's grant students scholarship to go and study free, you know, government scholarship so that it will attract people to the sector to go and study and come back to keep the uh, faculty going. It's, it's a decision by the university. So you see, no, pro you see, no, you see no problem with it? No, no, no. 
alone. If it's being abused, Johnny Hughes, I wouldn't sit here and condone no, it. No, give no, to worry. No. NSS deputy director. No, so, she buys a team in the no, same year she gets no. a scholarship. What, what did she study? Was it relevant to the area she's operating? But you have For money instance, to buy a team. No, no, you no, can't pay your school fees. Johnny Hughes. Johnny Hughes. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 um, you know, I've been appointed director of communication right. for a disaster organization. Right. Okay. Automatically, I needed to acquire some skills in disaster communications. Mm. So and you so, don't become a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I agree with you. So that, you know, I'll be able to relay with the media and the Ghanaian community right. on matters of right. disaster so that effective communication can take place. If based on that, I'm asked to go elsewhere to do one week, two weeks, you know, maybe North Dakota, maybe somewhere in the United Kingdom or wherever to, to undergo training okay i didn't request for that okay it's by virtue of the fact that i occupy a certain position and so government of ghana felt i needed to go one week or three weeks or so to mm. study and come back to support the organization so if tomorrow we are not in office and then you see georgia you see having gone to north dakota to study in disaster communication you say why will george do that but you but, get it but, but so the, we need to get but the, the details but the question of the is that the fact this, that is freddie blaze daughter or son or gift or your worry gift your worry or, or look napo at it. yes or napo went to Harvard. was it in relation to parliament's need for certain understanding of issues that will be debated and as a result, they sponsored them to go. George, or they it, use their connections to get it. George, is this, the, merit it? is this the best way to protect the public purse? Oh, come on. Once we are acquiring skills, and I would rather, in the, and this government is giving a lot of individuals who are within the poor but needy categories scholarships. A lot of them have gotten scholarship under this government. Scholarship secretary, secretary get fund and co. They're giving a lot of scholarships to people, okay? But if you take a case, I understand about 20 out of it. For the emotional reasons or whatever, I don't have a problem. We are in an but election you're, you're year. So if that is it, you're a no communicator. problem with Yes. There's what they call news. Yes. And news, <laughs> news. It has to be <laughs> politically exposed, yes. influential, yes. I am mighty, yes. rich, yes. affluent, Yes. getting scholarship on the taxpayers' money. Johnny, Johnny, you know when are... When scholarship people out there in Hungary and the rest have not been giving their $250 and they are crying... Mm. And they can't survive. How do you explain this? No, this has happened from time. We have cases of Morocco scholarships, stipends not being sent. We've had cases of Hungary, as you're saying. But saying you promise better. Yes. No, no. I say we've been getting these challenges, mm. okay? So it is uh, a challenge and a problem that we need to rectify as a government and as a people. So we need to work on that right. and ensure. So I don't have a problem with the media, you know, Bottom touching line. on those Bottom things. Bottom line, okay? my, 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 my senior brother, Georgia, you see, Agrees that we must reform right. the scholarship secretary. Oh, council. So I, 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 I allow him. I allow him. As and, my and, 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 he and has not see, consulted you no, to I'm come. You see, what is engaged in this pro bono, what, this pro bono, bono, bono advice bono. is what needed. <laughs> what is doing is what in communication you would describe as sophistry. Right. <laughs> but this this pro bono is not needed. He has not solicited for it. He's engaged in sophistry. Let's take the point clear. No. Mm. See, if there was greater transparency, accountability mm. within the scholarship area, mm. there is. this conversation will not have come up. Yeah. Two, if the basis on which scholarships are awarded appears a bit merit-based, it's merit-based, then the conversation becomes cleaner. I tell you this. I recall vividly. In 2009, mm. 2010, we had moved. Oh, no, he's I, 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 he's, 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 we had come <laughs> into. But you're, you're not being fair to No, him. we had come you're into. You're not being fair We to had him. come la, into la, la, the production. As for the two of us, <laughs> we had come into the production of. You are bullying oil. the man and no. saying, as for the two of us. Crude you. oil. Crude <laughs> oil. And because we had moved in, we realized that, for instance, we'll have issues with disputes involving oil and gas related mm. matters mm. and what is the skill set of our judges for the purposes of adjudication and so 
a few of the lawyers, sorry, the judges there, were made to go to Dundee, Scotland, and so some you agree universities. With me? No, I'm coming no, there. No, I no, I will just give you for emotional effect. You understand? <laughs> we were made to go there to have specialized training in oil and gas related things. You know, there are people when you say take or pay in an oil and gas contract, they won't understand. Yeah. What does it mean? And so if there are disputes and you go before a judge, the judge will have the necessary skill set. I give you a classic example. You know two companies now, Springfield mm, mm, and E and I. Right. They are in London going through an arbitration. Right. What was the basis? E and I says they have their field. So mm. like the whole of this studio mm -hmm. is E and I, right? Field, right. Field. Okay. Then it extends a bit into the next room is Springfield. Springfield, okay. Okay. Now, we know that oil and gas reservoirs suffer from what you say, fugacity, in the sense that the oil doesn't stay at one place. It keeps moving. It keeps moving, right? It keeps moving. Because it's fluid. It's fluid. And because of the sedimentary rocks, it allows it to move. If it's ignorant, uh, it, it ignores it rock, rock, it, will it stay. becomes yeah. uh, stable. Like a well. A well. Mm. Perfect. Now, these wells sometimes straddle. It commingles. And so, what you do is that you do what we call a unitization. Mm. So, you can operate different, different fields as one unit. This is what has created a problem. It's in London. Part of it is in Ghana. You need a judge with that kind of training to appreciate. Mm. You cannot just use your normal contract law. Right. It comes with its own technical, mm. you know, mm. not nuances, and, nuances uh, yeah. that you need to. Mm. If government of Ghana says, 10 judges, we are sponsoring you to go to, what shall I say, Dandy, to go and study this course. And, and to bring the knowledge back. And bring back the knowledge and back and come and impact mm. as a judge. Mm. Because if we should say the judge alone should go and mobilize money and go and do this course, it will create a problem. So government does intervene. So but is that, is that what is and the when that judge is on. a Yonikolendi, you will decide to skew it. Is that <laughs> hold on? Is that the kind of conversation we are having? No. Mm. It is. Okay. The uh, people uh, whose name have come down, mm -hmm. yes. right? Are not persons that <clears throat> you can say that this special skill set is lacking. Mm. And that How did you government know? needed to intervene by giving them this AB. My brother here, my brother here, Mr. George IAC here, he speaks well, he communicates for the disaster management. He has the capacity to train himself, mm -hmm. right? If he says- He doesn't going, agree. If he says he's going to GIG, mm -hmm. and that he requires government to pay for his fees, people say, Abba George, so will cry the OEC and so. The other people who are GIJ doing PR, mm. they have not been given sponsorship by government of Ghana. So why you? Two. Quickly, quickly. So George, question can, is can that come George, are you needy but brilliant? I Me, mean, when I was growing up, my understanding of scholarship was, it is given to needy but brilliant. Students, you know, when I was a kid, I mean, that's what I knew when I was a kid, George. Until I came to Accra and realized that scholarships are actually mm -hmm. meant for rich kids. Oh, <laughs> when, when, George, when I was a kid, it was in Accra that I got when to I was a kid there. in secondary school. Yeah. My I got cocoa scholarship, yes. cocoa board scholarship. Yes. Then my dad asked me, Are you needy? I said, No, he said, I know you are brilliant, but are you needy? I said, No, mm -hmm. he asked me three times says, go and tell them that you don't need a scholarship. If you give it to a cocoa farmer's son, That's I will good. never forget that lesson. Yes. That's good. And he drove me all the way to school, and he revoked that thing, and they gave it out to who I don't know. Yeah. Because my father says, 
It is a cocoa. Is it? Am I a cocoa farmer? Yeah, that's 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 hey. part of the reason my, I wholeheartedly my, support. My, my father said. My father said. Am I a cocoa farmer? He said no. <laughs> don't confuse the issue. No, no, no. I'm coming don't to confuse. a point. I'm but, coming. But George, to what he just said. Uh, George, let me tell you. As as a teacher, my mm. mother's teacher in infantry school, I was in a classroom one time, and then you know the finance department were sacking students. You, you know who students they were. Yeah, the best with their bulky <laughs> stomach. <laughs> and uh, the te- some teachers with yes, cane following yes. him. You know, then they said CMB, they were specifically on uh, Cocoa Board scholarship uh, beneficiaries mm. because the scholarship had delayed. And then they, they asked these students to go out. I said, what? Wait a minute. I can bet my last bottom penny that some of them had never seen a Cocoa Board before. Mm. They were on Cocoa Board scholarships. You get it? And they were... Children of bourgeoisies, okay. So I look at this. And say, Come on, how? So these are some of the reasons. That's why our council. I was saying I support the free SHS so that everybody will benefit and go uh, on. So this scholarship matter, the four states they've come out with their finding. Let's all take time uh, interrogating because uh, 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 John Hughes, mm. uh, I may encounter uh, some challenges. I have problems with fourth estates uh, recent. Uh, why why recent do you have a problem with that? Not the scholarship one, right? The SML. SML one. But you are, you are keeping the report. It. Why are you holding it? <laughs> uh, no, I had problems. No, like the Al Jazeera, good for mafia. Price thing. Price you wrote to Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera said they gave you the report. You are holding it. Yeah, and Kojo is going around media houses telling us how to do the job. When we started but, practicing, but, 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 is one of you. When I started, he had not started practicing. No problem. You know, you know, you know the SMLG. No, the SMLG. No, but you see, you raise it. No, 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 Mm-hmm. There's a reason why he's doing that. Okay. Why? No to worry. say that Akufuado has taken the initiative to call for an investigation. I am worried. Where the investigative report by KPMG is given to the president and he's sitting on it. The reason is this, and I, 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 without any fear, I say this. We do know, as we speak, that KPMG had gotten many government contracts. They are investigating several of government-related... No, government-related jobs. Job. But when were you were in power, you were giving it to... No, establish. no, no, please, you need to get this Including right. data back. You need to get it right. Why was the <laughs> Auditor General not gotten involved? Because it enjoys independence. Now, Miss Ampofo, look at it this way. Mm. You... Right. Consult for government of Ghana, many institutions, mm-hmm. at a fee. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Would you have the courage, knowing that, like the accounts would say, Onsa, Onenum, Obekao. Oh, yeah, Obekao. Look. So, in doing, fact, you are but, saying but, but, every but, but, work but, done, but, 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 work you, done by KPMG d- is faulty. On. That's what you're saying. Because you know, they want to continue if it, if to it was enjoy a different, the benefit. A, a different government institution, Come would on. you have the same posturing? Would you also no, say if, that if, this institution no, is not independent? Council, no, I, I, no, I, no I, the I, Auditor this, General, this, this the Auditor General I, by the 1992 I think we should allow George A.C. to make his point. Council is wobbly. It's only fair. Fair. Council. You don't want it. George, let me ask you. George, let me ask you. I, we have written from here on the Al Jazeera gold mafia thing. Yeah. Al Jazeera told us expressly, and I showed it here, yeah. that they have given the report to the presidency. Okay. Initially, when we put out the first response, we had people from government, government elements, and tell us that, oh, it's even fake. When it became necessary and confirmed that what we were saying were right, Kojo Bonkroma, then Minister for Information, went around other media as a senpai and the rest, trying to teach us how to do it. And he does that on a regular. He's trying to teach us the job. When we started the job, he was still no, but, but not he, practicing. You admit, he yes. organizes, he encourages the continuous training for media people. He said we're going to do 16 regions. He has only yeah. done one. <laughs> and that was even on the back of another one. Yes. But he has only done one. He has not done the 15. 
like the e levy thing so i have that bone to pick with him okay he went around preaching as if we don't know our left from our right as journalists and failed to encourage the president to bring the response from al jazeera as we speak alester Mateas gold mafia it, the report is still with the presidency why is al jazeera not giving it to you Al Jazeera, they, they put some Al Jazeera there, wrote and by Al Jazeera party. told yes. that we put their response there. Yes. Al Jazeera said what your presidency is ad, 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 alleging is fake. It's false. I put it up here. What is false? It says we have not done what your presidency is saying we have done. And that we dared them to sue us as Bidia told wrote in that two page oh, okay. letter. Okay. Okay. They so have how kept come that you have not sued Al Jazeera. They, they have no. They can't sue them. Eh. They can't. Can they sue them? They have because, kept that report because the tone of the letter the suggested that report. in, in no, fourteen no, no, days. No, no. John Hughes. I'm coming. We're, we're media. The, do, yes. the tone of the letter says in fourteen days. Yes. If you don't retract and apologize, we will and sue you. <laughs> yes. We more than sure. six months have passed. Yes. As Anti Bedieto with President Kufado, everybody. Frame up, parry everybody. They have not been able to sue Al Jazeera. And they have kept the report from Ghanaians. Ah, which report? Do you know what conversation is going on? Show, because show us why letter. has Al Jazeera done something and is also refusing to put no. it in the public? Oh, no, 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 no. Al Jazeera Al Jazeera report, they yeah, put out they the put report. The report. And, and they and say that yes, what we have given you disagreed with. They that. say what yes. we have given you yes. is what we have given them. Okay. Put what you have from Al Jazeera in the public domain pretty much the way same way he wrote. But Al Jazeera has put this out already. You oh, I, I don't work for Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera doesn't take my taxes. Nana do not work for take my taxes. Let, let's drift to put to a the chair in a V8. Let's, let's come to the SML. I have my reservation. Unless, of course, counsel is saying I am that saying, I'm I'm saying <laughs> that there is, there is a trajectory of you receiving reports and refusing to put it out in the public domain. No, for I have been on your show and I've if, admitted if, that, if, that, if, that, if, that the Australian saga, the report should have been made public. If, Prophet, for if the sake I, of I, my I, brother, I respect for that. Uh, yes, uh, if Professor Jampo uh, hadn't written yes. to say that, put it out because it's now becoming too much for you, would the presidency on behalf of the president by Ujain have wrote, written to say that? At least they have the report. What are you talking to me about? Because Al Jazeera told us they wanted an extension mm -hmm. and it was granted. Now the report has been brought to you. So in the minds of the Ghanaian people, there's an extension. No, definitely. They but the report has been brought to you. In, they'll put it out. And Akufado they'll was keeping it them. under his armpit. No, let, let them. And KPMD, is the report out or is not out? They can't put it out. Why can't they put no, it that's out? Contractual. That was, that's no, that's contractual. That's, 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 and that is why no, I would have preferred. That's why I say, unless, see, of course, you see, I told you why. No, I told you why it should have been the Auditor General. Because if it was done by the Auditor General, it is public in nature. Be accepted because they and want if to it's done by the masters. auditor general, it is easier for you to do right of information. Johnny, I think but this I'm one not is being allowed to make private George, uh, uh, counsel, allow him. Uh, yes, yes, counsel. George. Yes, yes. He so, has given yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> the man has given George, up. George, the, <laughs> quest, the question I ask yes, is The weather is not good yes, for yes, you. Yes, that, no, no, no. no that, I'm okay. <laughs> maybe we'll move away from this one. Yes. The CD is on a free fall. Then it is affecting everything, but including fuel, yes, electricity, yeah. LPG, free for cost. George. I mean, John, to put into context, since the start of the year, the city has depreciated by some 10 percent. Yes, that's massive. And he it disagrees does, that yes. it's that's massive, fall. George. Yeah, it How can you about plan? 9.7, so 10 percent. 10 percent. Yes, How can you plan? Yes. No, that's what, scary. What, what, we've had a case where what, what, what is happening 30 percent, and then you stem the tide. And you, you, you get you it. Promise let's, let's get it. So yes, what is we promise change. What's happening? We promise change. Things happen. The exogenous factors that hit us is, is something that you cannot discount in the equation. Okay? Council knows. I have done some small rate arithmetic here uh, to see. When, when they took over in, in, in um, uh, 2009, the exchange rate was 1.2 to the dollar. Mm. By the time they exited on the 6th of, of January 2017, 
Okay. Uh, the exchange rate was four CDs, 20 pesos, uh, pesos to 4.2. And so if you do it, it means the CD cumulatively depreciated by about 250%. Okay. As we speak, from 4.2% to 13.5, uh, I'm using the open market rate. I'm not using the Bank of Ghana yeah, rate. using Abuchi rate. Yes. Yes. I'm the not same using... Abuchi that you put into arrest at <laughs> Tobi. Yes, yes, And yes. made news out of them. <laughs> and they were the ones crashing the economy. No, are using Abuchi rate. still chasing them. No, if I use the Bank of Ghana rate, I was on with counsel on another, your, your sister station, and, you know, I used that. It's we a, generally agreed. It's our mother station, that, actually. TV sorry, station. your mother station. Uh, myself and counsel agreed that we, if we use that, that, <laughs> that no, you is who problematic. That's you who you counsel. <laughs> you got it. So 12.9 hours of fee. You mean That's the when, Bank of Ghana You, you mean when Miss Ampofo wants to buy dollar, Yes. To do a transaction, mm -hmm. you go to bank. The pound is pound, the pound is That's why I'm the 13.5. Hey, George, George, <laughs> George, don't worry. The bank of Ghana has a George, you see, you see, no, 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 we have no Ghanaian, no Ghanaian goes to buy dollars. Do you feel comfortable? Do you feel comfortable talking about these issues? Why Even Bamia has run away. We need to look at it. And as I'm saying, eh, look, the, the 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 facts do not support that. It's two to one point four percent cumulative depreciation. You see, if we determine by rate, and then you juxtapose that to the size of the economy, and that's why I disagreed with you when you were yeah, yeah. quoting so figures in abeyance. When you were quoting yeah. figures yeah. in abeyance. Josh, quick question, quick question for you, please. Yes. Have we started yes. paying back our, our debts? No. I know we put a no. pause on that. No. Yes, we, we did put a pause on when that. We, when that when, on, when on, we start paying station. back our debts, what is it going to look like? No, by that time, the factors that will be existing may be completely different. Mm. That's why Dr. Baumia said that when he takes over as president in 2025, mm. he's going to stop A, B, C, D. In because the exigences in, in of the, the moment the meantime, wouldn't be what will be pertaining George, in the as of the time. In the meantime, so what, in the meantime what is he doing? Now he has power there. as vice no, president. No, 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 no. Head of the economic no, no, management no, no, no. What is he we, doing? We, we, look, there are certain taxes that were put in place to, you know, that he didn't agree revenue, with. and then to, you know, that he didn't agree with. Assuage the difficult that he didn't agree with. No, 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 I'm not saying agree. Yeah. For instance, the COVID tax, what is the purpose? Okay. But he's, he's, he's the head of the current management. The exigencies of the time. And so when he takes over, you know, this same government scrapped and reduced over 17 taxes that were imposed. To our detriment, George. I and, don't and, think that was yeah, the right and, idea and, doing and that. And added no. some more. Yes. yes. No, no. So Continue. what it means is that if we had not taken those. Out. You, you took, to you took 17 to and brought 40 taxes. No, no. And you say no, we should clap for no, you. No, 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 no. So what it means is that if we are not taking those 17, we were going to be happy. But you have brought 40 even more taxes. Hypothetically, 40 let's more. even assume it's 40. Hypothetically, it's not, we are not we are going to we have know. 57. No, and do you know no, the compounding no. effect on that? So we need to look Johnny, at that in perspective. How do you take... The performance community, I'll be happy. Growth of agriculture was about 2.9 when we mm. took over. Okay? It's moved to about 6%. Planting for food and, and what jobs is the and impact? Coal. So these are things that higher tells food, you that higher food moving. prices. You get it? No. After okay, planting for food and jobs, the result, the scorecard, the scorecard, you know, things would have been it's higher worse. food prices. Okay. So these Red are Nicholas. issues that we need to uh, but objectively Johnny, look at. George, these are matters George, that we need Johnny, to look at. Johnny, Johnny, I'm coming. It's not a propaganda angle. George, George, listen to this man. Listen to this man. Yes. And and the proximate cause of the recent depreciation is the time inconsistency of an IMF prior action on the reserves target. At the end of January, as part of the seven prior actions, to get to the IMF board and the completion of the IMF program, the IMF gave Ghana seven actions to complete before March 15, seven prior actions that we had to meet seven conditions. One of the conditions that the Bank of Ghana had to meet was to increase its net international reserves to the level of December 2018. To increase the net international reserves, however, meant that the Bank of Ghana could not sell any foreign exchange in the market. They had to essentially hold their hands to the back and could not intervene on the market. George. Recent. How do you, it's recent, yeah. how do you compare Dr. Baumia in opposition to him being with power? Yeah. And now he sounds more like the opposition leader. Oh, no. 
because he says, oh, when I come, I'll do different from what Akufuado has done. Oh, no. When my, I come, my, my, I will change this, I will change that. And he's part of the government. He even said that I will bring a new idea from what is being practiced. Yes. How should Ghanaians trust the man you support? The president also said it. So the buck stops with him, which is fact. Mm. Sure. Okay? Former American president says, the, as a Hoover or whoever, he says, the buck stops here. The, That's the they, truth. Did Dr. Bambia <laughs> know that when he was accusing Jomama and, and, yes, and yes, Atamils yes, together? Yes, Ata, no, even yes, Ms. Ata, the yes, question he, No, Ms. We, we don't have a problem. You say... Uh, Kufu Adu Baumi administration. We don't have He asked a question, 170 questions of yes, the little yes, Mr. Yes, yes. Can he yes. answer those questions today? No, well, have they posed any question? No. They should do proper research no. and yeah, then. Mr. Adu didn't questions. answer those questions. Yes. He died. He didn't can answer he them. answer those questions? He didn't answer them. So you can pose it to him when, when, when you interview the, the him. The examiner, so, I should ask the examiner yes, his questions. Yes, yes, yes. Why? Ah, because of the exigencies of the moment. When is he, so going, you have to, every right when is he going to have another lecture? Like the Central University of Sayanka? No, in in opposition, you look at the things and then you you know mm. uh, uh, proffer the solutions as you see from that angle. In government, you do same, and and I'm excited that even in government, he gives lectures when things becomes a bit difficult for the Ghanaian and and uh, when our, the last our people take advantage to when the pollute last the environment. He can't set lecture? the records straight, which is good. So far, nobody Johnny. from your sect. Has when been able to lecture? give any economic lecture. Nobody from your sex is giving you anything. When you was the last lecture? Oh, uh, but the seventh this day was the presentation of a vision and others. Seven words. So how is that a lecture? <laughs> no. So he comes to Abrantia. explain the thing. So don't worry. Nobody stops Abrantia you. No, who stops you, you from seven giving a lecture? Who stops you from giving no, a lecture? No, that's not the you issue. You don't have any economists <laughs> there to be by your own principle. George. Take it. You said. You said. When in doubt, observe the Dr. Baumia gave lectures. Yes told us right. what he would do. Yes. He has come to power. Yes. We have not seen the things. He said he wants to break the eight. And he has not given any lecture. He said NDC should go and do a lecture. Ah, if you have a problem with the government, he had problems with the government. One of his lectures, has he, he, he the brought problems? up the computation of inflation. The inflation basket was inappropriate. Okay. IMF World Bank well, came to support well, and it was well, restructured. Okay, so these are the issues. These are the things they should also George, be doing. My phone, okay? line, my phone lines are BP. I'm sure if I activate the don't phone worry, line. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Government, but, but Johnny, Dr. Baumia his, has his, his own vision. Mm. He has put part here. Uh, so let's get to read them. He says there are some things that... Can he be trusted? Of, yes, I trust him absolutely. Ah. I trust A man him. who is he not responsible for his actions. No, How can why is he not him? responsible? The president came in and said, yes, Seb you, it's true. Seb you, He's Seb the you. head of economic this management. You went Nobody has resolved room with. it. You did your it. own thing. There's pregnancy. <laughs> he said it wasn't me. No, exogenous factors came in. Uh, Johnny, my last thing. He said it wasn't me. Listen. Uh, then he said, no, listen. Shocks. No, yeah, they are part. And then hey. part of the reason is that we, this government, I have said it many times, we took on a lot of expenditure policy items, you know, more than necessary. Uh, For instance, you bring free SHS at the same time, one district, one factory, at the same time, one village, one down. You, at the same, you see, these are all have, they restore necessary ones. You, when have His you Excellency heard there, Kwati. just cut all have of Have you heard Kweku Kwating? Kweku, yes. Kwating. No, I've not on what? He said the problem we find ourselves in yes. is based on incompetence and that we're going to get here anyway without COVID, Russia, Ukraine. It was going to take some time. Well, I've, 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 not, I've not heard Johnny. that. Uh, Johnny, I don't know if you are Johnny, putting him right now. No, 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 no. If it's, it's, Johnny, it's, it's, you don't have enough time. I'm not time. doubting you. Okay. Let me ask him a simple question. I've not heard him say so that. Can can Johnny, can I That's ask him a simple question? Yeah, yeah, right. Right. I have to on this issue. As we speak, ask him. By 2019, the government of Ghana has set up a 40-member committee yes. to help arrest the depreciation of yes. the city. Infanspim says Jim Shekang. Infanspim says Jim Shekang. That'd be Tobo, Tobo. <laughs> Please. In fact, the government didn't see Bamiya worthy to be a member, <laughs> even ahead. at the church. No, how can he oh, setting up a oh, committee be a he member never of the committee? He never said it out. <laughs> now, guess I'm what? Guess great. what? <laughs> guess what? As of 2019, was there COVID? Was there Russia, Ukraine? No such thing. But even as at that time, 
You considered it necessary to put up a committee to stop the depreciating of the we city. We want to be smart. It's so mean no, that the economy can, started. No, no, you started no, destroying no, the that's economy. A serious, that's but a serious you see, government. But you see, do you know the bigger problem? That, no. Johnny, 30 seconds. Because the bigger we problem. Because within a global structure. 30 seconds. George has to go to a new Yes, item. 30 seconds. Yes. In 2020, yes. this government did a budget deficit of 15 percent mm -hmm. contrary to the five percent that they even put in their own the law fiscal, uh, fiscal you you no hold on fiscal Italy, responsibility my will beat you. please go do you know that they were not able to keep to their statutory commitment of five percent mm. under the fiscal responsibility that's a reason they ended up doing 15 percent yes. all because of election no, 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 no. Okay, thank you. COVID, George. All because George, of Russia, you have to, uh, George, you have to go. Uh, this is a song for you. George, he is the National Communications Director of the N, uh, NADMO, and uh, Edu G. Tamaklo is the 